guys. So I'm very excited for today's video. I have a collective Halloween haul for you guys. So these are items that I snagged from Marshall's, Michael's, at home. And then I have a item that was sent to me that I'm really excited to share with you guys. And also some things from a small shop that I buy from all the time and love supporting. So please hit that subscribe button, the notification bell. This should be the last video that you see in this apartment, which is why things are like, you know, I'm just sitting on the couch. We move into our first home that we bought in seven days. So I'm so excited, you guys. I can't wait to share the new place with you all. Once we move, my first priority, of course, is gonna be unpacking and getting settled, but we will be a few days shy at that point from my burr months that just give me life. And that is when I decorate the whole house for Halloween. So I get to decorate our new house. I'm gonna take you along room by room, sharing everything with you guys. So please turn on that bell so you don't miss my future uploads. But let's get into all this stuff that I have going on. And I can't wait to share my new filming setup with you guys when we're in the new house. I have Hocus Pocus playing, I keep getting distracted. All right, so we're gonna start with Marshalls. So they had so many cute things, you guys. It's like every time I go, there's just so much more being put out. So I snagged a few things. One thing I'm really excited about the new house is going to be my little coffee bar. Um, we ordered like a new stand kind of thing where our microwave is gonna go because the kitchen's small and we have to renovate it. Um, but I'm gonna have like an area designated for my coffee and my coffee bar. So I snagged a few fun things for that, for all my mugs. Um, the first thing I got, they have the different skinny syrups, which I love because they're zero calories, zero sugar. And this one is the pumpkin caramel scone, which just sounded amazing. They also had the pumpkin cheesecake that I'll probably get next time we go, but these are just those syrups that you pour in your coffee before you brew it. And I love them. So anyways, this will be sitting out on that little bar. Okay, and the next item is so adorable. So these are coffee grounds, but they are um, spooky vanilla is the flavor. And it says I could use some scream and sugar. I just thought this was so cute. And I actually love the color. I do a lot of traditional colors, but I thought it would look really cute, like a little pop of that pretty blue just sitting on the stand. So I had to get this. This was only $5.99. And I actually know someone who's tried this and she loves it. So I'm excited to taste it. All right, and next up, I snagged the spatula set. I'm always a sucker for these. These were $3.99. They're always somewhere between like three and five dollars, but I get them every year for like Halloween and Christmas. These ones are Hocus Pocus, so I had to do it. I do a lot of baking around the holiday time. I loved them. I thought they were just super cute. All right, so I also snagged this little bamboo canister. Now I am not into the gnome thing. I don't own a single Halloween gnome. I know they're very popular and they've taken over the stores again this year as well. Um, but I haven't ever bought one. I probably won't buy an actual gnome. I don't think so, unless one really grabs my attention. But as you guys know, our new house is gonna be very much like white and wood. So I was immediately drawn to the canister itself, but I actually loved these gnomes. I thought they were so cute. And again, they're traditional Halloween colors. I love them. The one with the little jack-o'-lantern, I loved the bats. So this is gonna sit out on the coffee bar as well. I have a Keurig and an espresso. So I have tons of different little pods and I figured I would just put them in here and have this sitting out like this for Halloween time. Okay, so the last item that I snagged from Marshalls for this trip was this candle, this was $7.99. They have a whole new line there, I think it's new. I, I don't remember ever seeing this, but it's called Sand and Paws. And apparently based on the candle, it's three friends that love their doggies and they made a line of candles that are supposed to neutralize pet odor. I just loved the packaging and like these tones. I just, I'm such a sucker for them. They had a bunch of fall ones. So this one actually has the pumpkin on top. I don't decorate for fall, I go right into Halloween. So I'm not like a huge traditional pumpkin kind of fan, but these have little cats. I loved that. At first I thought it was polka dots, but they're little cat faces. So that I love because I love the black and white and it smells so good. It's a soy wax blend with essential oils. This one is in Harvest Wreath. It's a two wick. Oh my God, it smells so good. It smells like you're at a fall festival in October. I love it. I'm really excited to burn it. I'm putting this aside with my Bath and Body Works ones though and fighting the insane temptation to burn any of my candles before we move, but I only have a week now. I wanna save everything for the new house. So I'm happy I snagged this. They also had some really, really cute ones that had dogs on the lid that I loved. I'll probably get more. Speaking of, I'm gonna put my TikTok down below here as well. I will always have my like social media handles. It's pumpkin and gray on everything, but I have started using TikTok more. So if you're on TikTok, please go give me a follow. I'm doing a ton of like hunting for Halloween, little TikToks over there and things like that. And you will see all the dog ones over there. So anyways, I loved this candle though. I cannot wait to burn it. This lighting is driving me crazy, by the way. Every time I go to film, the clouds are like in and out and my face, everything looks different. So 
just bear with me. We're so close to the new setup. All right, so if you watch my videos, then you would know in one of my at home, I think it was one of the hauls or possibly a hunting for Halloween video there, I talked about the gold skull that I am dying to get my hands on. My at home kept having the silver version and I decorate with a lot more gold than silver. So when I went back the other day, they had this beauty and this is the one that I was waiting for. I am obsessed. Look how beautiful she is, oh my gosh. The gold and the flowers that look like she's just been sitting somewhere too long and they're kind of like growing on her. I love this so much. It's gonna go so good in the house with all of my new stuff. Here's the real kicker though. Sitting next to this, we have these little baby black ones that are like a matte black with the gold crown. I got three of these. <laughs> I got three of these in the bag to line up. I just thought they were so beautiful, like sitting on a cake stand or we have a ledge in our kitchen. I'm obsessed. I just love black and gold so much. I thought this was absolutely beautiful. Look how cute she is, like the details. I love them. I was so happy to see both of these. So that's what I got from at home that day. I got one of these and three of these and I still need to go back and get more of the plain, um, like black velvet skulls. I don't know why I didn't grab any that day now that I'm sitting here talking out loud but I gotta go back and get more of those too. I cannot get enough of the skulls this year. All right, next up is home goods. So I filmed, you're gonna see like a hunting for Halloween video. I don't know if that'll be up first. Um, and I'll share a ton in there of what my home goods have, but they are like not playing around anymore. So I grabbed a few random things from there. Um, this little cutie was $7.99. I just loved it. I don't know why. It's just because it's white and black probably. But I thought the little expression on her face was adorable and it's just a candle. I won't burn it, but I'll take it out of here and just have it sitting somewhere, probably up on a mantle. But I just thought it was so cute. It's a really nice size for $7.99. Next up is some Halloween pasta. I love, love the little areas at like Marshall's and TJ Maxx and Home Goods when you're checking out. They always have the best little food items there. And I was a sucker for this packaging. So they had one that was much more new age, but this just screamed 1980s to me. So I had to have it. It's so vintage looking. And then it's got pumpkins, bats, witches, and skeletons in here for pasta. So I like to do a lot of theme nights and stuff with the kids. I figured I would make this sometime in October. Look how cute. And this was $3.99. I need to get more of them. Okay. I am so excited about this. If you don't know, I am obsessed with the peanuts, Charlie Brown, for the holidays. We don't watch it any other time of the year, but the Halloween episode, The Great Pumpkin, is definitely our favorite. We have the DVD, we have the book, a few versions of the book. So when I saw this bowl, I had to snag it. It was only $9.99 and this is a really big bowl. And again, for themed nights, for movie nights in October, I just thought how cute for popcorn. I love it. Look at all the details. Again, incredibly vintage looking. I really like how it's just the strip at the top here. I love it so much. So look how big that is. $9.99. As soon as I saw it, I was like, yep. They also had this Nightmare Before Christmas. I wasn't obsessed with the pattern of that one for some reason. So I just got this one. This just felt way more vintage to me, but we'll see if I end up going back and getting the other one, but I love this bowl. Okay, so the last thing I got from Home Goods was so random. I'm sitting there looking at the coffee mugs and it's just sitting there and I grab it and there's no sticker and I look around, there's no other one. So bless my kids' hearts. Went up to the aisle, it took like 10 minutes because they were packed for somebody to go look and they ended up just pulling a random mug and asking if it was okay to make it $3.99. This is the weirdest item I have ever found, but I was in love with it. This is a cup that looks like a light bulb and it has ghosts all over it with the word boo. And it has like the straw with the stopper. So I thought for iced coffee, I don't know, I just had to have it. I've never in my life seen something like this and that's just like, you know, how cute it is. I love it. And I'll use it on Instagram and stuff too. So she ended up giving it to me for $3.99. I'm sure it was actually around that price anyways, because that's about what their mugs are at Home Goods. But what a neat little find, isn't it? I love it. Let me know in the comments if you like it. It's weird, but I think it's cool. All right, next up is from Michael's. I finally snagged the little spooky house. So I have not shown this to Salem yet until we move, but I'm gonna make it into a spooky doll house for her. If you haven't seen these at Michael's, most of them have them. I had a $5 off coupon, so it was $20. And they have rows of items you can put inside. So I didn't start collecting those yet, but I will start collecting them. They have every detail you could need for a spooky house. So characters, beds, bathtubs, clothing. They even have picture frames that you actually would like 
punch through and hang up like with ghosts and skeletons and stuff. I love the moon and stars. I love that it's black and the little details here. I knew I wanted to get this for her. I'm probably gonna do like a decorate it with me kind of thing like on TikTok and stuff. I just thought it was so cute and then she can actually play with it as well. So if you haven't seen these, I would definitely check Michael's. I've been to a few of them and all of them had them. It's the Tiny Treasures collection. It is just absolutely adorable and mine had two left. I contemplated getting it last time and I didn't do it. So this time when I saw two, I was like, just get it so you don't regret it. And I am so glad I have it. Okay, so that's it for the regular stores, but I also wanted to share this cutie that I got from Em and Sprout. I will put the link in my bio. I have shared many items from Em and Sprout. If you follow me on any social media besides YouTube, you've seen my jack-o'-lantern slippers. I wear them constantly and I've posted them many times. This is a little sleep mask. I love it. They have it in orange with the black face as well, but you have to check out Em and Sprout. You just have to. If you've never seen their stuff, they're on Instagram. Her Etsy shop has everything your spooky heart would need like mugs, clothing, PJs, sweatshirts, all that, um, pins, tons of little cute things like this, pillows, home decor, like so many options. And I always want everything, but I love this little mask. So I had to get it. I think it was only, I don't know how much it was. I'll have to look it up, <laughs> but I love it. Everything from her is always beautifully done and really high quality too. All right. So the last item I wanted to share with you guys today is a book that I was sent. I have had the pleasure of getting to know the author and his wife on Instagram. This is a book that was written by Christian James. It is called All Hallows Eve in Salem. If you don't know this about me, I am completely, ridiculously obsessed with holiday books. I have like over 100 Halloween books, over 100 Christmas books, and you all know that I am equally obsessed with Salem. So when we connected online and I found out that he was writing a Halloween book that is based in Salem, I just about died. I'm so excited to add this to our collection. If you don't know, my daughter's name is Salem. We go every year. It's a huge part of my life. So to have a Halloween book that is this cute, that is based in my favorite city is just everything. So I wanted to tell you, I will leave his information down in the bio as well. His Instagram. You can go there. You can pre-order the books. He was sweet enough to write a little message in here for the kids, but the book is absolutely adorable. I'm going to open up like a few random pages, but basically it is Halloween in Salem and he goes through just all the different locations that I absolutely love in Salem. There's characters. He has a lot of things coming with the characters for kids, toys, things like that. So if you're interested, stay tuned got the witch house with Frankie and it's just the story about how all of these characters are preparing for the trick-or-treaters and it is so 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 cute so you have to get a copy of it if you are a Halloween book fan or a Salem fan so I'll leave all that information down in the description box all right guys so that wraps up our haul today I hope you enjoyed these items as always please let me know in the comments what your favorite item was. I would love to chat with you all down there. Again, be sure to hit the subscribe button. We're so close to a thousand and that is a big step in YouTube for different reasons. So I would really appreciate it if you would share my channel, hit the subscribe button if you haven't. Um, and again, I'll leave all my other social medias down below. So thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys very soon in my next one from our new house.